Hello YouTube. Today I want to show my uh, first aid slash survival kit. I developed it recently uh, for carrying with me while in the woods and um, <clears throat> the whole purpose of this uh, kit is to to have something uh, of uh, first aid uh, on me uh, at all times. As, as mentioned in the very beginning, uh, this is um, first aid slash survival kit. The main purpose of this is to to, to serve my first aid needs, but um, it also includes some uh, survival items as well. Well, first of all, I would like to talk about the pouch itself. Uh, why this kind of pouch? Why not an Altoid stin or, or, or uh, any other kind of container? There, there are a wide variety of them. First of all, the size of this pouch. This pouch fits perfectly into my cargo pocket. So uh, I can have it in my cargo pocket at all times. Uh, another uh, reason why I, saw, why I chose this pouch was because there are other carry options for it. Uh, first of all, you can see it has a lanyard, so I can carry uh, it uh, on my neck or over my shoulder. And it has also these belt loops here, so I can carry on my belt it, uh, on my belt it as well. So there are at least three ways to carry it. I can put it in my pocket, I can carry it over my neck, or uh, carry it on my belt. <clears throat> and uh, these are the main reasons. And, and I want this uh, pouch to be on me at all times. So uh, the ways of carrying it uh, are very important. Okay, uh, let's get to the to the contents of uh, of the kit. Uh, well, here's a here's one pocket right here, and what I've got here is um, first of all. Uh, plastic bag uh, which can uh, fit in also the pouch itself if I'm uh, going through uh, uh, some wet environment or it's raining or something and I want to keep everything dry so I have a I have a, a plastic bag where to put the whole pouch in and uh, right away here is one of uh, first aid items <coughs> and this is a uh, uh, I don't know the proper name in English for this, but this is a kind of uh, ladies' uh, um, pad. Well, I don't know how you call it, but uh, if you have a girlfriend or a wife, so uh, they use these. And uh, in case, and this is this is uh, I carry this uh, for in case uh, I get wounded. Uh, there is a large wound. And I have to uh, stop bleeding. Well, this is very absorbent material, and uh, and and it can help with that. Okay, that's one thing. Uh, <coughs> what else I have in, in this outside outside pocket? Here I have uh, a number of uh, zip ties. Well, some eight or six zip ties right in this pocket uh, yeah that's it then there is another pocket uh, sealed by a zipper uh, on the outside and uh, here I have uh, a condom well this is this can be used for carrying water for sealing wounds bandages uh, well you name it a smaller uh, plastic bag with some uh, um, band-aid so you have to cut these band-aids uh, uh, depending on the size of, the, of your wound or whatever uh, then I carry uh, also some uh, fisherman lights well whatever you call them i don't know how you call it in english but you just uh, break them in the middle and then they glow in the dark so 
this can be used uh, for uh, glow stick glow stick yeah <laughs> sorry for that uh, so uh, you break them in the hub and uh, they glow in the dark so you can use them for for marking some some spots while in the dark or, 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 or something like that so so it goes further in the back what else I've got here yeah one more glow stick and one more so I've got uh, four of them okay okay so now we open up the pouch and first thing we see here are safety pins uh, lots of safety pins so hundreds of uses for them uh, repairs uh, whatever <coughs> next uh, different sizes of uh, band-aids or pads bigger ones uh, then some uh, other material so this is all for uh, stopping wounds from bleeding next what I've got here are smaller size band-aids lots of band-aids if you go out so smaller cuts bigger cuts this is what all what you can kind of experience in the in the outdoors and uh, they can be uh, nasty if not treated properly uh, okay this is this pocket then a large piece of duct tape this can be used for first aid for repairs whatever as I said this is a first aid slash survival kit so uh, and uh, duct tape is of multiple use you can use it for first aid and for for, for survival as well then I have tampons uh, two of them uh, the first primary purpose for these is um, uh, fire starting you can you can uh, open them up and, and basically this is cotton and you can easily start fire with that I've also heard that uh, some guys say that um, so you can use them uh, for sealing shot wounds uh, I don't know I'm not a first aid expert I don't know if it's um, if it works that way but who knows who knows I don't know but I hope I will never have to use them for that kind of purpose. <coughs> uh, super glue. Well, thousands of uses for that. First aid and uh, repairs. A small fishing kit, small hooks, a little bit of uh, line. Well, so no explanation for that needed and then uh, there is another one more small small pocket over here and what I've got here is uh, first of all uh, some uh, four uh, alcohol wipes so again multiple use uh, you can use them for starting fire and for cleaning wounds <laughs> Uh, lighter basically this is a redundancy I have always some way of starting fire on me uh, so uh, this is just just in case if I if all other ways of uh, starting fire uh, fail then I have this one <coughs> normally I have uh, uh, if, when I go into the woods normally I have uh, uh, Ferrosium rod, another lighter, uh, maybe something else on me. <coughs> so this is a redundancy. Uh, then another fire starting material uh, sealed in a plastic bag, uh, paper matches. Just because they are so flat, they could I could fit them in, and it's uh, better to have 
these, then nothing. So two ways of starting fire. <coughs> well, an LED light. Uh, simple one, cheap one. Uh, well, can be used in darkness as well as for signaling. Uh, so flat fits in here. So why not to carry? Why, why not to have it? Though I have uh, other um, flashlights on me usually when I go out. Um, a little bit of cord. Um, again, as I said, this is a. Um, first aid slash survival kit, so cord in a survival situation uh, indispensable and a couple of actually uh, five, uh, I know there are five uh, cotton pads in here again for uh, sealing wounds uh, wiping blood off, uh, whatever. So they are sealed, uh, and uh, so you can use them for covering your wound or whatever. So this is basically my first aid slash survival kit as it as it stands today. Well, definitely there is some room for improvement, no doubt about that. Uh, well, suggestions are welcome. Uh, just uh, last side note, uh, there is no cutting tool uh, included here. It's just because I normally carry uh, some kind of cutting tool or several uh, cutting tools on me at all times. So uh, this is... Uh, uh, meant to be as a as an addition. For example, I carry I, uh, uh, I carry a, a, a cutting tool on my belt or on my neck, and then I have this kit in my pocket. This is sort of kind of my survival uh, system as I as I see it. Uh, it's kind of last uh, last last ditch survival system as I see it. So I hope you uh, enjoyed it. And um, uh, feel free to let me know what you think of it. Thanks and bye.